Hello everybody, I'm GG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to continue on our chest locker plugin. Last episode we made the basic fundamentals of our chest locker plugin. We did the accept, the back and the item meta, the, the numbers and we created the inventory with a location and a player P. Okay, to get started we first going to do actual number functionality. So if e dot get raw slot equals below eight, uh, above eight uh, is still okay. Uh, we are going to remove that message because what we want to do is actually place the item in the first empty slot. So we are going to fill the top bar. Uh, players can have a one number code, a ten num, a nine number code, or something in between, but nothing else. So what we are going to do? So uh, we're going to check if oh wait let's first get the inventory inventory chest inventory equals e dot get inventory and what we are going to do is we are going to check if uh, the inventory dot first empty first empty is below or equals eight which means that there is still one empty room on the top uh, bar of the inventory on the top a row or column I don't know how that's called uh, of the inventory so what we are going to do then is synth dot uh, set item because if we do add item and items are um, equal to each other we'll just add them as a stack uh, I will just stack them on the other item stack but we want to set it as a separate item so what we are going to do over here is going to get first empty again first empty and we are going to do uh, clicked so it's going to be the clicked item that we just did over here. Edo get current item clicked since we already know that it is a, a number. Okay, that will add them to a row. And of course, it will stop where once it's um, at the last piece. But how about the back button? Because uh, we do not want to send a message. We actually want to remove the last uh, block of the code we just typed. And to do that, we're first going to check if uh, we first going to get the inventory again so inventory c inf equals e dot get inventory uh, because we first are going to check if uh, the first empty is not on zero because if the first empty is on zero we cannot go back anymore uh, we cannot go back and does not equal zero uh, no I mean zero I'm sorry so if it does not equal zero, what we are going to do is we're going to get the item before the first empty. So we're going to do synth equals the inventory that we are working in dot set item. And we're going to do synth dot first empty, first empty. And we're going to uh, subtract one from it. And of course we want to set to a new item stack uh, material dot air, which will just remove that item. And that will just remove one unless there's nothing to remove. And if there's nothing to remove, it will not do anything. Okay, so without the accept button, we first need to uh, change something. I will explain later. Uh, but the accept button, the accept functionality is going to get the first nine items of the inventory, or at least the first nine slots. And it's going to check the item names. And that's going to add to a code. So we're going to do string code, which is an empty code, because we did not have any numbers yet. And then uh, for int i equals 0, we're just going to do a little for loop. i uh, below or equals 8, because it should go to 8. Uh, below 9, I mean. It should cycle 9 times. And then i plus plus. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to get the item stack, uh, which equal uh, this is the number item equals e dot get inventory dot get item um, i. But what if uh, the code stops before there's nine numbers? So first we're going to check if uh, either get inventory to get item i uh, does not equal no. Otherwise it will return no pointer errors, exception errors, and we do not want them. So over here, number item. But that is not the number. So what we are going to do is we are going to do string and it's going to be number equals number item 
dot get item meta dot get display name we do not have to check whether it has a display name or item meta because we know what's inside the inventory but we do not want the chat color so we're going to do strip color with check color which will just remove all color and of course we are going to add it so code equals code plus number and of course you can do it like code plus equals but just for uh, tutorial sake I'm just going to keep it like this so okay outside of this if it's no over here what we are going to do is we are going to save the code uh, let's just do save code uh, to chest location chest location because what we want to do is uh, open a chest check its location check for the code of that location okay but how do we get the chest location well we do that in the title but first we need to modify the title a little over here because we have a location and what we are going to do after locker we are going to uh, put a slash it will not look that nice but we are going to look uh, place a slash lock dot get block x then we are going to add a slash again then we are going to do lock dot get block i another slash and as last thing oh, I clicked on the wrong button button lock dot get block z which will just keep it over there but now that we have changed the name we are going to need to change this over here because it's equals just uh, check color go plus locker but now it does not equal that anymore we can actually not say well uh, if it equals this then it's a chest locker uh, inventory if it doesn't it's not because those variables are variable <laughs> and over here check color uh, dot locker instead of equals it should just be starts with no starts with and that will just make sure that we can get the location over here uh, save code to chest location well what is the chest location so string uh, config code so that will be the config section config how do however you want to call it is going to be e dot get inventory dot get title which will be the title and of course we want to remove the chat color so chat color dot strip color and what we are going to do is we are going to uh, replace, not replace all, uh, the locker with a slash uh, with nothing. So we're going to remove the locker part in front of it, which will leave us with block X, block Y, and block Z. And of course those slashes, but those are just to keep it one string that's readable. Okay, so the config code and the code are now both available to us. But how do we save it? Since we do not have any, um, yeah, any config, we cannot get access the config over here. Well, if you have watched previous videos, if you didn't, you should. By the way, you can just know that we are going to make a constructor over here for lock listener, and I'm not gonna explain it because we already have an episode about this. So plug in over here, and a plug in equals chest locker and what we are going to do is save it so over here config code what we are going to do is plug in dot get config dot set and then it's going to be config code to code which means that a player can also set no code which will not enter then it will not and this is uh, by the way an example of how a code should look like if you only type zeros or if you type it it can also be a little shorter because uh, you do not have to type nine uh, full numbers. If you did not type any number, it will not save anything. Okay, so config code and of course, as always, with the plugin dot save config after you've changed anything and you wanted to keep it that way. Okay, that's actually it uh, for the chest locker episode two. Next time we are going to add the actual lock so that the player cannot access the chest or destroy the chest anymore without um yeah without typing in the code so let's go and take a look at how this looks in the server see you over there so we're inside Minecraft now i've started the server let's go take a look at what we have created and as you can see i've placed way too many chests over here and i'm gonna place a chest it will pop up if i type in one two three four five six seven eight nine it will show it nicely over here i cannot click on these or take them out if i press back it will remove them and if i press accept it will save it Make sure that you also close the inventory because I can now change the code and save it again. Just make sure you close the inventory. I forgot. Sorry.
Okay, and that's actually it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. As you can see, the lock is not actual functional. Uh, it's not actually functioning yet. And we will do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. If you got any feedback or suggestions, down below in the comment section or in the description box, you will find a link to our Discord channel where you can talk and yeah, do whatever you like. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.